Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas, on Friday, November the 23rd, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, I'm sure you're familiar with what's happening with this caravan. We have written about it, we've posted about it, we've done a few videos about this, and it seems to me that this caravan has really become a problem for Mexico. Uh, you know, a lot of my Mexican friends were dumbfounded. Uh, they simply do not understand how Mexico let this thing get out of control. First of all, they let them in the country, something that Mexico has always been very tough on. They've always had a very tough policy with respect to illegal immigration from Central America, but this time they let them in, they let them walk through the country, and here they are. Uh, they're in Tijuana, Mexico, where they've created a local problem. You have the mayor of that city and you have citizens of that city who are saying, we cannot handle this. Uh, in some cases, you know, you've had uh, even marches and some, some bad things being said toward uh, the people in the caravan. And I can certainly understand the frustration. I mean, these are the people who are basically stuck with the problem and they're stuck with the problem because they're not getting any help from the Mexican federal government. And it's becoming quite clear on the U.S. side that President Trump is serious about defending uh, the U.S. border. In fact, uh, President Trump, is, as we speak, is in the process of reassessing many of these uh, policies toward asylum. And one of the things they're going to try to do is what they call remain in Mexico, meaning you can apply, you can, you know, see an American judge, but you're going to stay in Mexico while we process your case. And of course, there's a reason for this. And it's because, you know, once people come in and they're processed on the border, then they disappear and they never show up for, for, the, for the court date, which is usually a year, year and a half, year and a half later. So I think President Trump is saying, no, we're not going to tolerate that. But again, going back to Mexico, it really puzzles me as to why Mexico has allowed this thing to get out of control. And, you know, talking to some of my Mexican friends, uh, you know, the, the first obvious answer is they feel that the Mexican government has been very incompetent in how they've handled this. Well, I think there's some truth to that. I mean, look, they had everybody on that bridge a few weeks ago. All they had to do was block the bridge and they would have blocked the caravan or at least entrance to Mexico through that bridge, but they didn't. They let them in and the caravan has been, has been going north. There's also a lot of concern in Mexico about, you know, who's in this caravan? I mean, what people are in this ca caravan? The Mexican, uh, the Mexico ambassador to the U.S., has recently said that there are, in fact, criminals in these, uh, in these caravans. I wouldn't be surprised about that at all. Now, some of my other Mexican friends are saying that maybe this is a, a way of, of sort of dropping this problem on the president-elect who takes office in a week. That's Lopez Obrador. You know, he's going to be president of Mexico in about two weeks, less than that, really, on the 1st or the 2nd of December. And then, you know, the current president is gone. I mean, he, he's not uh, responsible for any of this. And uh, that's another theory that maybe Mexico did it this way to dump uh, the problem on the successor. I don't know. I don't really know whether the theory is true. I don't know. All I know is that Mexico has a problem. Mexico has a caravan problem. And I think that, you know, if there's any lesson from any of this is for Mexico to understand that if you let people in to go to the United States, all you're going to do is have more people in who will want to go in to go to the United States. So maybe this is a good lesson for Mexico that, uh, you know, this kind of caravan and this kind of illegal and chaotic uh, movement of people is not, uh, is not a good thing. Maybe they should listen to what former Secretary Clinton, uh, Hillary Clinton, said a few days ago when she was talking about Europe and she said that Europe has to resolve the immigration issue. You can only be nice after a while, but... At some point in time, if you allow all these people in, you're going to create domestic problems. And I certainly think we're seeing that uh, in Europe. So that was a good comment by Secretary Clinton. I wonder if she would have won the presidency had she made a comment like that while she was president. I wonder. I wonder why. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, we have all of these on YouTube. We have them on Twitter and we have them on my blog. And if November 23rd is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.